Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Joey Plays and Build and today we are playing Planet Zoo in the console. It is finally here. For those who don't know, Planet Zoo has been my most anticipated game for since 2020. They've been out for a long time, but they haven't been released a console version till now and i was at a point in time where i kind of accept the reality of it where it's not going to show up this is a huge complex game and i don't think it has the power for a console to hold this much content lo and behold frontier actually did it and we got planet zoo um now granted that it is a console I, I don't know the limitations compared to a PC because PC is far more stronger. So I'm not going to go too overboard with the detail in this game. But I do as best as I can to to make the habitat much pretty in, in a way. But as for a console, I got to I got to slow down and not take any risk of this game to crash because i did suffer a crash in this game actually i suffered two, two crashes in this game and yeah that, that's going to be a problem and hopefully frontier can try to resolve it um you know sooner than later but anyways this park is bellagio valley Dew. this is a north american park with only north american animals i purchased the north american pack so we're gonna play around with some moose beavers and other animals that i cannot think in for in top of my head i know i'm gonna add a grizzly bear a timber wolf the bison is the first animal that we're going to build here and you see our lovely bison very i love the bison the bison is is a prehistoric animal <laughs> you know it lives in the megafonda lives in the ice age with the mammoth and, and and the neanderthals and all of that stuff so yeah i think to start with a zoo you need to start with a an animal that is majestic you know like i i do with the jurassic park builds i start with a dinosaur that would get you hype up for the park right the dinosaur i always use as my my opener is the brachiosaurus and i think the bison is is kind of like that it is is a majestic giant behemoth but can welcome you into the park can greet you into the park as you could say and you know you could get going into the other animals and you get hype up to see what else is in here so yeah, we're gonna have by um we already have bison, but we're gonna have like mooses and maybe deer if there's any deers, beavers and all of that stuff, and yeah, just play along with it a little bit and see how it goes. Now, as the the gameplay wise, if you expect Jurassic World type of gameplay, you ain't gonna get. It. You're gonna be far disappointed um it took me a while to get used to the controls and all of that stuff because i've been I'm, I'm used to the jurassic world layout and the controls and all of that stuff so for example you know rotating rocks right there's a there's a simple way of rotating rocks in jurassic world there's also a simple way to rotating rocks in planet zoo I, uh, of course i just haven't figured that out yet but rotating foliage and rocks in this game is far difficult. There's like three options there. There's move, advance, and rotate. And, you know, you're going to do some switching up if you're new. But I'm pretty sure there's an easier way doing it. I just haven't figured it out yet. Got to watch some tips and tricks. Or maybe you guys in the comment down below can tell me what is the easiest way to, to rotate things. Or, you know, to make the game much more easier to play. Because I have so much trouble with the controls to, you know to zoom in to zoom out the path the path um here is really hard to control sometimes there's going to be a part in the gameplay where i want to have a a stairs in an upper level of the habitat so you could see it in a in a good view but controlling the path work was just difficult in this game compared to what jurassic world has to offer very simple in jurassic world in planet zoo it's it's very hard to to get used to but again i'm very new in this game so hopefully i'll get the hang of it 
as much as you know pc players have get the hang of it as well you know potato potato it's two different things um i don't know if that's a good analogy of it um but yeah so i'm getting my bison i got one of them already and so far i'm playing it safe i'm not gonna go overboard with the decoration the foliage i'm using the foliage that the, what the bison needs um but so far you know everything's all fine and dandy got another bison in because i want some babies and then this is when i realized because when i start start um a sandbox mode that's what the mode i'm playing right now i make sure everything's off welfare um guests animals um aging dying all of that stuff i usually turn this off because i i don't that's not how i play I know a lot of people play games like that. It's a more challenging. But for me, I like to keep it simple and it's just more relaxing that way. You know, that's how I play this type of game. So I don't want no interference. But there was it was funny because I've been playing this for this habitat. It's like seven hours. Yeah, seven hours of just one habitat. I realized there's no babies. <laughs> so I was like, why is it? Because I had a male and a female bison none of them are spewing offspring so i'm like what is going on so i look at the setting to figure out what is going on and i turned that off yeah i got you got it you got to read um what are you gonna turn you're not gonna go all the way just turn off 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 there's some situations where you have to read uh, um you know maybe you miss something and you don't want that to turn off but yeah that was funny um, but yeah, just playing around with some of the items here, there's so many rocks and foliage that I got overwhelmed with the amount of it. Some of them I have never even, I, I honestly, I don't even know where to put. <laughs> For example, these grass right here, I don't, these common salt ward, I have no idea what they are. Um, granted, I could have done a little bit of research, but I didn't. So this is the pad I was talking about. I want a upper level, uh, uh over the habitat. This is where I'm going to extend the habitat to make it a little bit bigger. I felt like the habitat that I had it before was too small for bisons. And I want babies, so I want to add more bisons in here. So I made a little archway right on top. So when you go into the middle of the habitat, you can see the bison in a nice view. And that's something I really like that, uh, what's it called? Jurassic World didn't have. They don't have stairs. They don't have anything elevating viewing. So that this is really will really, you know, uh, a fresh breath air because I really love playing with these stuff, type of stuff. It's just the pathwork was really annoying. So what I'm doing right now is making a little sign, and this is something I really want in Jurassic World signs. So of course I'm gonna jump right in it and make my own sign, customize my own sign. The problem is there's so many to start. I have no idea what to start <laughs> um there's so many signs so many decorations so i was like trying to figure out which one that i really wanted um i was looking for a bison head which i found it is not what i wanted though i want a full body bison not just a head but it is what it is so i'm using this for now a it looks like a gravestone but I, I i need something big i need something like you know if you if you're far away from the distance of the habitat you know that is a bison you know and i want to call it bison plane so th this is where i thought is going to be the fun part it is very stressful grant this took me i'm no joke 30 minutes or so just to place all this science and you could see the all the arranging and the rotating I have to do now when I'm doing this in the top of my head I was thinking oh my goodness if I post this video I know a bunch of players are gonna be cringe at me because I'm pretty sure there's an easier way at doing this I have not figured this out but the fact that I was I was trying my best not to well one not to rage quit because there are so many uh, so many times where I'm just like you know what forget the science I cannot do it but I just kept going it's just spelling bison the, the title is called bison's planes 
and it took me forever and it was so crooked the letters are not aligned and to top of all of that i gotta place them into the stonehenge so it's not like you grab a letter right and then you place it into the stonehenge and it automatically clicks right no you gotta make sure it, it clicks because if you press the wrong position then the letters would just be floating out of nowhere so here i'm just trying my best to make sure everything is aligned everything is all squeezed and everything all stick together but yeah it took me about like 30 minutes or so just to place everything I, this is the part where i kind of like contemplating myself if i want to continue with this or not because i was my patience was already up to here and it took me a while because like, i took a little break and then i finally like cave in and just keep working on i was almost there it's just that it was really really tough to get all the letters how i wanted but i don't know i, I you i seen a lot of builders they did so many wonderful signs my I look mine look like a kindergarten kindergarten level compared to a a more experienced builder who just did a wonderful wonderful sign but again you know just just um just take it easy on me i'm still learning i'm still new hopefully i will find a way okay so i am now in the the other half of the habitat and i want this habitat to be more of a plains area that's where bisons usually hang out in a plain savannah-esque area un instead of a, a more lush woodland area so this part right here is going to be a plain area for the bisons could run around roaming we have our little lake and i also want to add a waterfall because that's something that i want in this game since jurassic world so me you know you already know that i'm going to jump into building a waterfall but as it turned out i am very inexperienced <laughs> by it oops my uh recording just cut off anyways what was for so waterfall is something that i really want to jump in into this game because I really want to build waterfall in Jurassic World. You can't build waterfalls in Jurassic World. So of course, me knowing not anything about this game, I want to jump in and I want to see if I could build a waterfall and it turned out horrible. But you know, this is where I will watch more tutorials or you guys give me advices. But it, you know, this is this is something good because I love watching, you know, YouTubers such as Leaf or Caesar Creates where they go back into their first habitat build, right? And then they updated their habitat build by the experience and the knowledge that they have. And that's something I want in Jurassic World as well, where I could go back into my old parks in Jurassic World and then try to update it into a better park that uh, the knowledge that i have as a more experienced gamer so yeah this is the first habitat and you know maybe a year or two and now that i become more of an experienced player i could look back at this habitat and i'll be like hey you know what this is you know memories for me but now i'm more improved as a builder and, and you know just just do a little up, updated version of the habitat I really love one of those videos and I can't wait to be this part of the series where I go back into my old habitat builds and then try to update it. Matter of fact, I think that's what I want to do in Jurassic World. I have so much parks that I have never even visited from a year or two and I, you know, I want to see how much that I have improved as a park builder in Jurassic World. So. Yeah, that's something that I'm more interested in of to go back into my first ever parks or, or so. Um, yeah, so this is the more time consuming part. Since we don't have a brush in this game, it is very it is very complex in, in type of building because you don't have a you have a brush, right? You have a, a soil, rock, sand, snow and short and tall grass right but you don't have a brush for example like for ferns or for cactus or for trees redwood trees you don't have a brush like compared to jurassic world there is a brush for that but in this game there is no brush so yeah you have to place them individually one by one and 
yeah, there's a big habitat that I built, and I, I I didn't know where to start in the foliage because they don't have a, a, a something that I could start with. You know what I mean? I have to like pick something and then try to work on there. So all of this empty spaces, I try to, I don't know, I try to cover it up because I don't like empty spaces in my habitat builds. It just feels a little weird. I need to add something in there. And I think that's going to cost me later down the line playing this game because the more the more pieces that I'm using, the more I will see if the game can hold up. Because again, I don't know the exact limitations of this game. Um, but 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 yeah, but this habitat build, I, I felt like I'm using over a thousand pieces already just by the foliage and the rock alone. And I haven't even started on the waterfall. But yeah, try to try to try to squeeze as much foliage as I can into this into this habitat. I don't want to go overboard with the trees because again, I want this to be a plane where the bison can roam around, run around and all that stuff. So I'm using as little trees as possible in that area. And here it is. This is the waterfall. My first attempt of the waterfall. So please in the comments down below, if you guys are watching, please do go easy on me. Okay. I'm trying my best. I'm learning all the controllers. I really like the terrain editor is there's so much terrain that you could play. There's the chisel, which I think it's the equivalent to like flatten in Jurassic World, I think. But you don't you don't chisel the sides of the build. So what I'm wanted to do <laughs> what I wanted to do here is to make a huge mountainside. So first I raise the terrain up and then I flatten it. But it's not like how in Jurassic World. <laughs> Again, I, I okay, I try to play it as Jurassic World, where I shouldn't be playing it like Jurassic World. But it's really hard for me that I playing Jurassic World for four years that I have this habit of put um placing things you know what i mean so in Jurassic world i what i usually do to raise my terrain i raise up the upper level i elevate it and then i flatten it but when you flatten it it flattened the whole entire terrain here in this game it only flattened a specific type specific spot of the terrain so you have to be very very careful because you're going to ruin your your terrain and it's just not gonna look pretty <laughs> Um, but yeah, but what, but it makes, you know, caves and all that stuff, a little, little slope, which I really like, because that's something that you can't do in Jurassic World is to make slopes, some edges in here and there. So I gotta, I gotta be, I gotta practice a little bit to know which is the landscape that I really wanted. Now here it is. This is the waterfall. And you see earlier I was typing waterfall because I thought they're gonna give us waterfall I didn't know that you have to create waterfalls with the sprinklers <laughs> So yeah, so I was like, okay, so this is not what I expected But wow, how, how does I, I You know, I, I do watch Caesar crates videos and all of that stuff But um, yeah, they made some natural waterfalls uh now I felt so embarrassed <laughs> with with the waterfall build. It just doesn't look natural. And at first I was trying to add a little lake on top, but the, it didn't let me. Again, water is so annoying in this game. You know, in both Jurassic World and in Planet Zoo, you can't add water wherever you wanted it. So instead, I add, you know, the giant redwood trees and rocks. So that way it, it does it it covers some of that you know the upper level and just it doesn't look like you know just one big giant mountain or whatever so yeah so i'm using the rocks just to cover the sprinklers and you know again just do go easy on me okay I, I i'm trying my best i already i always wanted a waterfall in jurassic world and I we finally I finally get the chance to create a waterfall. So just 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 go easy on me on the comments and uh, you know someday I'll I'll have a wonderful natural realistic waterfalls. Well, what can you do? You guys can send me any videos. You know, obviously I'm gonna look up how to make waterfalls in Planet Zoo on YouTube after this. But yeah. <laughs> 
Um, uh, <laughs> I'm looking at it now. It looks so horrible. It's so horrible. <laughs> I'm probably just going to start all over with the waterfall idea. It's just, it is nice though that I could make one, but you know, you, you can't be an expert in your first time playing a different type of style, a different type of, you know, style of game. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Um, Rudy, um, Rudy, someone, I forgot his name, his name is Rudy, he did a tutorial of how to make a wonderful waterfall, so I'm probably gonna watch his video and, and see if I could improve. But yeah, just placing some of the, the rocks and foliage, just for some of the empty gaps in the habitat here and there, just to make sure that it, it looks pleasant and appealing. And again, using some of the foliage, I, I realized that these foliage are not at the type of height because those, I think those are cattail reeds. They're bigger than the bison and I, I, I doubt in real life these reeds, these cattails are bigger than an actual buffalo, you know what I mean? Anyways, there it is. This is the habitat build. We'll go in in game and I'm going to showcase all of that right away. Um, and then I'll tell you what further plans in the park. But other than that, we'll go in end game and I'll see you guys there. Alright, we are back and this is the main menu of Planet Zoo Console Edition. And first and foremost, I gotta give Frontier a huge shout out for the soundtrack of this game. It is so wonderful. I'm this These type of songs are stuck in my head for a very, very long time right now. I really love it especially this song so yeah anyways we'll get into my main park Villagio Valley Zoo but it load real quick um I'm just got I'm so excited that I actually have my hands on this game it's been four years that I actually been waiting waiting to play and I would never thought the day that I will actually get my hands um but here it is this is my first habitat built in Villagio Valley Zoo now for future plans i want a restaurant of somewhat right over here we're gonna have some seating areas and we're gonna have another habitat right over here i'm thinking like a prey dog prawn horn antelope habitat so yeah um again this is going to be focused on only north american animals so like grizzly bears timber wolves um american alligator whatever is in the north american pack that i just purchased it's going to be in this park. So, actually, let's go to first person. Let's see how that goes. Go to explorer mode, right? That's first person. There you go. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we're going to have some restaurants over here. And then another habitat right over here. And then, you know, one of the first habitats we'll see is a bison. Oh, by the way, I love this structure. I don't know if this is, if this is Frontier's structure or somebody else built it. But I added a, a bison thing here. And I couldn't find the bison statue. I know they have one because I was watching Best in Slots um, Park build like three years ago that has a white bison statue. But yeah, you could walk over here. This is Bison Plains. There's a sign. Oops, I, I fell. <laughs> okay, let's go back up over here. And then yeah, seeing the bisons in their habitat. This part right here is more of a lush environment for them. This is a place for them to like hide if they don't want to be seen by guests. We have benches. Again, just like in Jurassic World, nobody's sitting on the benches. I I don't know why. That's that's kind of weird. Oh, I love these educational panels and they have a little speaker in the back. So all of this I already explained in the speed belt. But I'm I'm going to repeat myself just in case if I don't didn't mention it on the speed build. But yeah, so look at all these the foliage work I've done. Again, I don't know which is what with these type of foliage. I don't know if these type of grass belongs there. I'm just adding which foliage that I found it pretty or something that I really love. I know the cattail they do belong into the in this in the water. And in those, these are the sprinklers. Oh, that's not a sprinkler. I don't know if I could click it. Well, yeah, the sprinklers, 
And these were used to be in the waterfall. And if I turn over here, yeah, the waterfall, I took it all away. I didn't like how it looks. It just doesn't look natural to me. So I add a, I add this instead. I took down the waterfall. I bring the rocks down and use those sprinklers instead. And you know, even though it doesn't look natural, you can still hear the water running. So at least something like uh, some sound is playing in the in the background while you're playing. Uh, yeah, so this part right here is more of a wide plain area for the buffaloes to roam around or to swim. Which is really nice too. It's a very big, expansive area. I added two shelters, by the way, just in case. If Because um, I, I, I don't know how many I have. But I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of them. Oh, and here's one of the calves right now. I turn off aging. So they're going to be babies forever. But I love them. So this is Yahtzee, our young baby male here to say hi. Hello, buddy. And by the way, everything is turned off. So, you know, their welfare needs and all that. I don't need to worry about that. I turn it off. That's how I play the game. I know a lot of people wanted a little bit of challenge, but not for me. <laughs> That's not how I want to play. So we go down. Oh, wow. Wow, what's going on here? There's a lot of people. What's going on? There's nothing here. They're all running. You know, there's another path for you guys to walk here, right? Look at them. Single file. <laughs> like, they're not using the, this path. I even widened up the path for them to actually run. I have a thousand people here? What? Why? There's only one animal. Oh, man. There's so many, so many people. Oh, another thing that I really like that I hope Jurassic World have it is that you could click. See, there's multiple selection. So you could choose. I'm trying to choose some. Like, you could choose amount of selections of items, and then you could confirm it, and then you could move it, or you could duplicate it. So I duplicate all of these, what do you call this? These, um, quarter-line plants. I duplicate this, and I basically just copied everything from the edge. Look at that. I also duplicated the sign. So that way I don't need to recreate the sign over and over. I have it here already. That is really cool. I love that feature and hopefully Jurassic World could actually implement that too. So yeah, so look at that. I have a little garden place. Another speaker. Hold up. I don't know if this speaker is on. Let me see. Yeah, the speaker is on. Everything is on so they could listen. All of the information about the American Bison. And again, I don't know if I mentioned this in the speed build, but the American Bison, like a hundred years ago, were almost extinct, near extinction. But their populations are increasing, which is good. Can I step over? Okay, we could see some of our lovely Bison. Okay, you are Abby, our lovely female here. They're using the scratching post. I need to add more enrichments for them. And you are JC. So I have three female Bisons. And I don't know how many calves. This is Yahtzee. I think I believe we already met our young lad. This is Natasha. A beautiful name. Very beautiful. I love these guys. And you, are you okay? We met Ambi already. They're really loud too. And we have a, a a nice handsome buck somewhere. Are you that? No, you're a caprice. Those this is our third female. But where is my buck? Oh, you gotta be one, right? You gotta be one. You're, you're be there. It is. That's our buck. That's Yoman. He is the the only male here, and is taking a little snooze. So this is another of their enrichment. I think they just like bonked it, and it would just go flying. I believe. Um. But yeah, this is more of their lush area. Oh yeah, we have their little mud bath and they I do see them roll around here. Their little water area. 
and the trees i kind of pick like whatever trees that they have there i know some of the trees are an enrichment tree like this i believe that's a scratching tree so they could like scratch um their bodies if they feel itchy i don't know if they could get up here i don't i doubt it but this is also a scratching post for them to scratch um if they need a little itchy scratchy thing some of the what did i use there so basically all of the plant works here are from the whatever the bison needs i didn't go all out i didn't go searching like you know the african or the the arctic foliage i know there's a lot of builders that went mix with these foliage and it just looks so natural i i'm taking an easy in this build and hopefully i if i'm more more of an advanced player i could play around with some of the trees <sighs> i have the christmas tree here <laughs> I forgot to delete that one, but yeah, I don't want that there. And for these beddings, originally these buffalo grass, which should be patched all over the highlighted areas. But I don't know how many pieces I have for this one habitat. I, I have a feeling I have like more than 500 at this point. And this is just one habitat. I don't want to go all out or the limitations of the game is just going to... And it, it's gonna start lagging. Oh, you're floating, buddy. Let's drop you down a bit. So we'll go down to move. We'll move. And I'll just hold the, the square and we're just gonna sink it a little bit. It ain't working for me. <laughs> sink it up, please. Maybe because I'm in um, first person. We grab that. See, I'm, I'm, I'm still new with the controllers. <laughs> um yeah so we're gonna there you go maybe because i was in first person oh no i can't sink it in okay i'm gonna use this instead and there you go I got the I got the hang of it. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I'm still learning with the controllers lately. And and yeah, so we're gonna go all the way up here. We see our lovely habitat. For my first type of build, I'm really satisfied with this habitat. I really loved it. Uh, <laughs> um, I still can't believe it. I'm playing this game and it's it's just wonderful. Um but uh, as for a recommendation i do recommend if you guys love hey <laughs> i need to cover these parts probably i don't know i don't know why they're not walking this way i don't know why i have 1200 people already it's just insane how all these 1200 people are they just love watching buffaloes i guess <laughs> But as for a recommendation, yes, I do recommend, if you guys are a fan of park building games, zoos especially, I do recommend, you know, give this game a try. However, it does take some time to get used with the controllers. If even if you're a Jurassic World player and you've been custom with the Jurassic World controller, this is something that it's so much different than Jurassic World, something that you need to custom to, the controls, the, the navigation. Even the path work is, is really difficult. It's not like how Jurassic World is where, you know, it's simplicity, it's it's simple. This game is more complex, but it's easy to learn. I, I felt like once you get the, the notion of building stuff, it, you will be addicted. It, again, this habitat took me about five hours, six hours, and you probably think, oh, that's way too much. But the, those type of hours, they, they fly really, really fast. You wouldn't even know that you're playing for that long. That's how fun and addicting the game is. And the plus, you experience more of these type of, of foliage and guarding work. It's just so relaxing and soothing. So I do recommend just grabbing the game, test it out. Or, you know, you could wait because there are some bugs, as I mentioned, that 
you know would ruin your experience again i experienced some bugs i had a couple of crashes here and there um but i'm pretty sure frontier would patch that up in no time <clears throat> but i i do recommend this game it is very fun it's addicting and i the graphics are so good in the game and that's another thing that a lot of people were kind of worried is if the graphics are not as up high as the pc version no it's 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 better I mean, it's not better but it's 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 really good um but yeah so this is the first episode of um planet zoo villaggio valley park hopefully you do like this habitat build and uh, um you will see more of this including jurassic world by the way and i'm not giving up with jurassic world i still have a part to finish but yeah um stay please do stay tuned give it a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next planet zoo thank you guys for watching